In the past, links were the primary SEO factor for search engine rankings. And that was also the reason for the high tactical manipulations in this sector over a long period. These times are over a few years back. Links will continue to lose relevance in the age of semantic context and machine learning, where user experience and content relevance are gaining more importance recently. Search engines like Google are getting improved in ranking the best and the most relevant content. Also, with the evolution of mobile devices like smartphones, fresh and most shared content gets higher rankings. For certain niche topics, a high ranking is possible today without a large number of high quality backlinks. With increase in search traffic from mobile devices, web pages are often liked or shared and not actively linked like before. The increasing role of apps and app rankings in organic search reduces the importance of backlinks. Backlinks continue to be a part of the SEO algorithm, but now they are termed as just another SEO factor and no longer the primary SEO factor to achieve high Google rankings. In the next lecture, you will learn the important terminologies used in backlinks or link building. In this lecture, you are going to learn the basic terminologies used in SEO. Generally, from SEO point of view, backlinks are of two types, nofollow and dofollow links. Before explaining what is a nofollow or dofollow link, you need to know the technical difference between them. In HTML, a link or a backlink is written as less than arrow a href equal to quote open inspireron.com quote close greater than symbol inspireron less than symbol forward slash a and then greater than symbol. Here the anchor word is inspireron which is visible to the normal user. When the user clicks on this anchor word, it will take him to the target web page mentioned between the href attribute in the A tag. The above HTML link is an example of a do follow link. If I add rel equal to no follow attribute inside A tag, then it will become a no follow link. No follow attribute will request the search engine not to pass the link juice from the source page to the linked page or the target page. Link juice is nothing but the domain authority or search engine visibility which we saw in the technical SEO section. Earlier, Google itself released a few extensions or plugins to see the page rank of every domain and its interior pages. But from March 2016, Google removed the visibility of page rank to the public. Page rank or link juice or domain authority or search engine visibility of a domain name or a web page are all one and the same. Based on the page rank only, Google used to decide the authenticity of the content in your website. Page rank mainly depends on the number of do follow links that your domain have from authentic websites. So, your domain authority neither directly depends upon no follow links nor the do follow links from low quality websites. Let me ask you a simple question. Website A has got 1000 do follow backlinks and website B has got 10 do follow backlinks. Which website would rank high on Google search engine? In this lecture, you will learn the impact of number of backlinks to a website and its search engine ranking. Let's start with 2015 research data. Forget all the numbers, just concentrate on the graph alone. From first search result to seventh one, there's a considerable difference in number of backlinks. But from eighth one to thirtieth one, almost all of them have similar number of backlinks. Now let's move on to this year's research data. This is the important one. Here, solid line denotes desktop search rankings and dotted line denotes mobile search rankings. 
As said before, the absolute number of backlinks doesn't matter. That's why it's mentioned in percent in Y axis. You could have noticed for desktop search results from 4th to 20th search result there's no difference in the percentage of number of backlinks compared to 1, 2 and 3. The same goes for mobile too but a small difference in case of mobile is the difference between second and third search ranking is comparatively prominent than desktop search rankings. Total number of backlinks to a domain equal to number of do follow links plus number of no follow links to that domain. So let's verify the above concept with these two graphs too. Except for the difference in correlation factor, all three graphs looks exactly similar which means website A having thousand do follow backlinks cannot outrank website B with 10 do follow backlinks purely based on number of do follow backlinks alone unless website A ranks 1 for such particular keywords. If both website A and B ranks below the third search result then the number of do follow or no follow backlinks doesn't matter at all but if your website is not in the first 30 search results for any relevant keyword then getting a few authentic do follow links would boost your search ranking from nowhere to top 30 search results. Now let me make a small change to the previous example. Website A has got 50 backlinks from 10 different or unique domains whereas website B has got 50 backlinks from 5 different or unique domains. Which one do you think would rank high on Google? In this lecture, we are going to see two different things. 1. Number of referring domains to your website. 2. Number of domains linked from the URL. Let's start with referring domains. In the last lecture, I asked you a question. Website A has 50 backlinks from 10 different domains and Website B has 50 backlinks from 5 different domains. The number of different domains that refer to a home page is increasing year by year which is clearly evident from the graph. This trend is particularly true for brands as they continue to occupy the top ranking positions and their growth in terms of referring domains is also clearly visible. Hence, brand awareness and relevant content generate more backlinks from different domains over time. So, in our example, website A with backlinks from 10 different domains will rank higher than website B which has got backlinks from 5 different referring domains only. Let's move on to the next SEO factor. Number of domains linked from the URL. First, let me make you clear what this SEO factor is. Let's assume that website P links to website X, Y, Z on one of its page. Website Q links to Y, Z and 8 other websites on one of its page. Website R links to X and 2 others on one of its page. In this case, you could have easily guessed that website X would rank higher than website Y and Z. If you are still unclear, let me explain it further. If you assume P, Q and R all have a link juice of 30 points, then website P gives 30 divided by 3 that is equal to the same 10 points to all 3 that is X, Y and Z. Website Q gives 30 divided by 10 that is equal to 3 points to each link or website it links to. So Y and Z gets 3 points each. Website R gives 30 divided by 3 
that is equal to 10 points to each link or website it links to. So X gets 10 points from website or. Now let's add all the points for X, Y and Z. X equal to 10 plus 0 plus 10 equal to 20 points. Y and Z equal to 10 plus 3 plus 0 equal to 13 points. Hence, website X will rank higher than Y and Z. This example highly simplifies the concept employed in actual algorithm to make you understand how the flow of link juice works when more than one link is provided in any given page. With the increase in number of domains linked from the URL, the amount of link juice flows to your website gets reduced. Hence, your search ranking will reduce. Whether the outgoing links target to different domains or same domain, the effect is same. See the graph here in number of external links from the URL. In this research data, the outgoing links to different domains are ignored. Just the number of outgoing links are taken into account. Here the graph is even more linear. That's why it's necessary to get quality backlink. Quality backlink refers to a backlink from an authentic website. The two, the lower the number of links to other websites on the backlink page, the better the SEO benefits for your website. The thumb rule is that if a web page already has four or more do follow outbound links or external links, Forget getting a backlink from that web page because it will negatively affect your SEO ranking as the correlation factors are negative. Before moving into the next lecture, let me give you a simple question. Website A and B deals with same keyword or topic. Website A has got a backlink with its keyword as anchor word. Website B has got a backlink with its brand name as anchor word. Which one would rank higher? In this lecture, you will understand the impact of backlinks with keyword in anchor text on your search rankings. This is a risky SEO factor. If Google considers your backlinks with keyword in anchor text as unnatural, then your search rankings will reduce even from the current level as penguin algorithm would kick in. Google has taken several steps to combat unnatural link building. This SEO factor is seen as one such factor. In 2014, many websites got hit by penguin 3.0 rollout and lost search rankings. On average, 20% of backlinks still have keyword in anchor text. This figure was 26% in 2015 and 29% in 2014. So, the percentage of links with keyword as anchor word continues to decline. If you're building backlinks now or if you're going to build, then think long term. In the next one to two years, almost 90% of backlinks won't have keywords in it. So, it's better to be safe than to lose all your search traffic. Don't worry about the natural backlinks that your users or customers share or build with keyword as anchor text. Natural backlinks are not an issue here. Google knows you lot better than you actually think it does. So one day or other, you will get caught if you build backlinks unnaturally. On the other side, domain name or brand name in anchor text is increasing every year. The main reason is brand and URL links are natural, whereas keyword links are not in most cases. Because in the current world, people just share the URL of homepage or the interior page directly.
they don't spend time in writing HTML tags with attributes and anchor words. I ended the last lecture with a question. That is, website A and B deals with same keyword or topic. Website A has got a backlink with its keyword as anchor word. Website B has got a backlink with its brand name as anchor word. Which one would rank higher? Neglecting all other variables, website A would rank higher as of now. But in 12 to 18 months, website A will lose that advantage. At that time, website B and A will rank equally, which means the ranking will be decided based on other factors. To conclude, if there's a natural chance of getting a backlink with your entire post or page title as anchor word, you can make use of that. In all other cases, use your domain name or brand name as anchor word, which will look more natural to the eyes of Google. In the next lecture, let's see the importance of backlinks from news sites in search engine rankings. In this lecture, let's see the importance of backlinks from news sites in search engine rankings. Generally, news sites mention the source website or the domain name of the source news in the body of their news or at the bottom. Some news websites directly link to the original news page, whereas some other just link to the home page of the source website. If your website publishes a news or press release of your newly announced product or services, then news websites may publish that matter and link back to your home page as the news source. In 2014, the top 10 search results in Google had 333 backlinks from news sites on average. Whereas in 2015, this number has risen to 522 backlinks. As said before, if your website publishes news or press releases, then this SEO factor plays a crucial part in your search rankings. As the correlation factor is 22% and is rising year by year, the reason for first three results with lower backlinks from the news sites is those three search results are newer compared to the rest of the search results. It's obvious that newer content would have lesser backlinks than older content. Search results from 4 to 10 have got higher number of backlinks from news websites, but still they rank behind the search results 1 to 3. We have already discussed the reason in the beginning of this section. Number of backlinks doesn't matter after third search result. What matters is the quality of backlinks or the amount of link juice flowing through each backlink and not the number of backlinks. Let me feed your knowledge with a question before we move on to the next lecture. Website A gets 10 backlinks every week on average and it's a 10 year old website. Whereas website B gets 100 backlinks every week on average and it's an year old website. But today both website A and B have got similar number of backlinks with similar quality. Which website will rank better for a given related keyword? In this lecture, you will learn the impact of backlink age in search ranking. If you have a look at the correlation factor, then you will realize that you can't skip this SEO factor. 19% correlation is not too small to ignore. Google still keeps this as a SEO factor to combat unnatural link building practices because year by year the correlation factor and the average backlink age are increasing. Now imagine that a millionaire's kid starts a new blog on gadget news and reviews. The kid spends tens of thousands of dollars in buying backlinks. Within a month, the new website has got 1 million backlinks. Will it be ethical to rank that kid's new website 
over all the others? That's the reason the top 10 search results have an average backlink of 470 days compared to 389 days of top 30. Also, the difference in backlink age is very prominent between the top 5 websites. If we take the question that I asked in the previous lecture, then the answer is very clear now, isn't it? It can be inferred that website A is getting backlinks linearly over time with older backlinks. Whereas, website B should have got a sudden surge of backlinks recently, which can be due to a few viral contents. So, in this case, website A would rank higher than website B when we take backlink age as SEO factor into account. From a statistical point of view, backlinks are still a factor that correlates with high rankings. Though the correlation factor is high, it's getting reduced significantly as each year passes. According to research data, the relevance of links will decline in favor of other factors in future. Even now, links should be viewed in the same way as social signals such as Facebook SARS, tweets, and Google Plus ones. When your website or brand deals with a particular theme or niche, just mentioning your domain name or brand name without even linking them plays an important role in improving the search rankings. Nowadays, a major part of backlinks don't have the keyword as anchor word. Just the domain name or the brand name is used as anchor text. But surprisingly, they are being linked to interior pages rather than the home page. These changes are consciously made by webmasters after the rollout of Penguin algorithm update and its iterations by Google. These algorithm updates were aimed at fighting the unnatural link building practices followed by webmasters and SEO agents. Year by year, proportion of nofollow links against dofollow links are getting increased significantly, denoting the increase in natural links and decrease in the importance of dofollow links. Now, let's summarize the inferences that we have seen in various research data seen in this section. Number of backlinks doesn't help you to improve your rank if you are already ranking in the top 30 search results. It only helps you to compete between 1, 2 and 3rd search position and when you don't rank even in the top 30 search results. Also, the number of do follow backlinks have got lower importance than the number of no follow backlinks. Instead of just concentrating on getting more backlinks, you should concentrate on getting backlinks from different domains. Try to get backlinks from web pages that have a fewer outbound links, such as 4 to 5, including yours. Backlinks with keyword in anchor text are getting reduced year by year. If your website doesn't have any backlinks yet, you don't need to stress yourself with this factor as Google often sees backlinks with keyword in anchor text as unnatural links. Natural links often have the domain name or brand name as the anchor word. Concentrate on that alone, that's enough. Whereas, if your website already has a lot of backlinks and you're trying to rank much higher, then you may concentrate on building backlinks with keyword in anchor text. Number of backlinks from news sites have got higher search ranking influence compared to that from other websites. If your website publishes news or press releases, then concentrate more on this SEO factor. The more the age of your backlinks, higher will be your ranking. Google uses this SEO factor to combat unnatural link building. With this, you have successfully completed this section.